this is Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab, and you're watching another Orthodontic Lab video lesson. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and look forward to seeing more Orthodontic Lab videos. In this video lesson, I'm going to teach you how I bend my Nance button appliance. This appliance I consider the Jon Snow of Orthodontics, and why I would, if you get the Game of Thrones reference, you would know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, let me share. It's an appliance that takes many, many skills to develop to actually make this appliance, but it looks so simple. Therefore, it looks like it should be a rather cheap appliance. But let's go over some of the skills that you need to um, master this appliance. The first thing you're gonna be able to do is bend 040 wire. The next step, you have to be a good solder. Then, you will add an acrylic to the Nance, to create the Nance button. And of course you have to know how to finish metalwork and also to finish acrylic work. These are the tools that I use to create the Nance button. And I also, if you can see in this um, picture, I seated bands. So here's a video, follow the card above that'll show you how I seat molar bands to create this appliance. Now let's begin. I take an old 40 piece of wire and I'll use my orthodontic turret to create the initial loop. The key to this appliance is to keep that wire approximately one millimeter off of the tissue. And I also draw a line on there to show you where I'm going to put my Nance button. This will give you a, like a coordination to make it nice and even when you're going to finish the appliance. I typically put the um, perpendicular line going directly across from canine to canine on the mesial line. I like to use my three prong to make minor, small adjustments to keep that one millimeter in all areas equal off the tissue, of course. Next step is a little tricky. I'm gonna bend the wire upward and the next step is outward. So I'm going to demonstrate this in slow motion so you can kind of see, have a better idea of what I'm talking about. This takes practice. It's not, you're not going to get it right the first time, especially if you're trying this appliance for the first time. This bend that I just put right here is a great little trick. So now I have something to hold the wire to make the adjustments. If you cut the wire right at the band, you won't have this and it makes it incredibly hard to bend the rest of the appliance. But this way I have a firm grip on the wire and I can make all kinds of adjustments with it by having that extra wire hang.
After making many adjustments, I am now ready to glue the appliance in place and get ready to spot weld and then solder the appliance. After gluing the appliance down, I'll use a little activator to harden the glue. And what's cool about the glue is I have a couple seconds to make that final adjustment. See, it didn't set up right away. You can actually see it liquefying and hardening. But within two or three seconds, I'll demonstrate that it is firmly on the model and it's not going to fall off, so it allows you to solder. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'm going to show you how I solder the Nance button appliance. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you again.